My name is Anas Arimiao Anas. I am an undercover journalist. I have gone undercover in many institutions. I've gone undercover as a Catholic priest in a Bangkok prison. I've gone undercover as a psychiatric patient in hospitals. I've gone undercover in brothels. I've gone undercover in various countries within the inner circles of their government to expose corruption and human rights abuse. I'm a normal journalist, but my journalism is different. The key things I look at when I do my journalism is to name, shame, and jail. What I do is to gather hardcore evidence. Ordinarily, I should stop at that after naming and shaming. But, but I go to the court of law to testify to ensure that the bad guys are put behind bars. Why would I do what I do? I do what I do because I know that there's no point in doing journalism that doesn't affect your society. In the West, I could have had holidays. I would be free after publishing. I would expect institutions to take up the issue and ensure that there's proper prosecution. But I know my African continent. I know what is capable of happening. Now, what you see on the screen is the spell of the albino. This film was done in Tanzania together with my colleague, Sorio Samora, and others. The project called Africa Investigate seeks to go into various African countries and find out the eels and make it public and make sure that the people, for the hardcore evidence that has been guarded, are put behind bars for a long time. As we can see there, limbs of albino children were being cut here and there. I know we are all familiar with the story. What we are not familiar with is when somebody has actually brought you a video that shows that witch doctor who has said, I want that hand. That shows that child whose hand has been chopped off. So in Tanzania, we put them behind bars. I recall the Chinese sex mafia. And of course, the project in Tanzania was done together with Al Jazeera. In the Chinese sex mafia film, some Chinese came into Africa, Nigeria, around, across the sub-Saharan African continent, and brought some Chinese people. Now, what they did was that they took them through prostitution. And whilst they were going on, they were taking money. People who originally see but who will produce that hardcore evidence that will ensure that we have a problem-free society? So again, I went undercover. I brought out that hardcore evidence that was needed to ensure that these people are put behind bars. After testifying in court, they were jailed 42 years. <laughs> Fool's Gold, the one that is just airing, now, what's another film that saw investors who had proper or good intentions to invest in the African continent, who were being duped by scammers within our continent? In this investigation, I posed as a businessman and a footballer, and we were able to nab those people who deprive us of the money we need to develop our countries. And as I speak, they are all behind bars now. <laughs> when the psychiatric hospital became chaotic in Ghana, everybody was looking for an opportunity to see that hardcore evidence of how nurses and doctors were selling cocaine, cannabis, heroin, and others to patients. Again, I went undercover as a patient. Slept with them, did everything with them. Understood exactly how the syndicate operates. And the hardcore evidence was aired for the Ghanaian populace to see. And you can tell me, this is not a movie. 
It's reality. You see it live and you see the people doing it. You know what, can do to, what that can do to a court of law. So indeed, in the madhouse story, what we eventually had was that all the bad guys that were selling the drugs and all the deaths that were going on in the psychiatric hospital, we had them punished. My kind of journalism has been tried and tested. Always in our society, evil thrives. Evil always tries to triumph over good. As a person, I strongly believe that extreme remedies are the most appropriate for extreme diseases. Not everybody gets happy with what I do. In the face of all the threats and problems, I remain committed. I belong to the remedy. Thank you.